Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and I'm back from traveling so you can expect regular videos from now on. So before we start today's video, I'm going to talk about a little side project that I recently launched. It's called Swift CV. Uh, it's a small website to help you create your professional presence or portfolio website in just a few clicks. We also have LinkedIn imports so you can transfer your LinkedIn profile directly to the website in just a few clicks. And yeah, what else? It's it has a ton of features, so do try it out and absolutely free to try actually. So yeah, just try it out and let me know your experience. And yeah, let's start today's video. In today's video, we are going to design a scroll indicator that is very common in file apps and photo apps, especially Google Photos. Um, what happens is basically when you start scrolling between images, uh, the indicator, the uh, scroll indicator, also shows you the date or the month. Uh, when the photo was created or modified so it helps the user in scanning the entire stack of photograph really easily it's a very small and really quirky nice interaction and we're going to explore the same thing in figma today so let's get started and in today's video we are going to design a fancy scroll indicator and to do that we are right now in figma and I have already preset a few things which I'm going to show you right now and then we'll start designing our prototype. So uh, first we have an iPhone 11 Pro Max hardboard as usual and I have a couple of things here which you can see. So what I have done first is this nav bar and I've just kept it as fixed position while scrolling so that it just sticks on the top when we scroll the entire content. Now the second thing is these uh, square boxes that I've kept here so nothing they are just uh, so what I've done is I've taken the entire width of the artboard which is this 414 and divided by 3 so I got the size of these three boxes and and what I've done is I just replicated them all around uh, on the entire artboard so they are nothing they are just uh, simple square boxes with a fill of some gray fill and a stroke to it and just to make just to break the monotony overall what i've done is i've also added bigger squares which is two by two boxes of the same dimension so it looks like this and then i just replicate everything here just make things looks like a bit different in overall pattern and i've also increased the artboard size so that it contains everything i'll reduce the size again to the original artboard size but for now it looks like this and these are just plain simple boxes so that's one part of it and uh, the other is bit is this i'll get back to this uh, so this is basically this scroll indicator also this is nothing it's just a rounded rectangle in a group and i've added two up and down arrows and group them together in this way and added some shadow to it so this looks like a, a scroll indicator now uh, before we move on to other parts let's first quickly uh, fill these rectangles with images so we are building a photo app and this scroll will be available, will be visible on the photo app. So we are replicating the Google Photos uh, sort of interaction. So what I'll do is I'll first select all of these rectangles. Like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to my plugins page and just use either Unsplash or Pixels. So I'm going to use Unsplash now. Yeah, once loaded, um, everything, every box is selected. If you want to add random images, you can add random images. Or if you want to add specific like plant, nature, you can just do that as well. I'm going to go with architecture. So let's do that. And once you click on it, you'll fill automatically all the boxes with some image. So just give it some time and it'll fill it up. Okay, perfect. Now Unsplash has filled all our square boxes with images and now our main frame for the app is sort of ready so it looks like like this and this is perfect for us now uh, what i want to do is i'll select all of these squares again so i'll just uh, scale it down and select all these squares again and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna group them together so command g and we're gonna group them and i'm gonna call it images Okay, perfect. Now what we want to do is uh, select the artboard. Now we want to uh, change the artboard size to its original. Now, right now I have extended it so that we can see everything. But now we can change it to its 
original uh, dimension so 414 is the width that's original now we want to change the height 896 so perfect now we have the app screen ready and we also have our indicator ready what i'll do is i'll just gonna grab it here and add it something like this um what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename it to indicator perfect so now uh, we have our main artboard ready now what we want to do is as soon as we click on it or hover on it or touch on it we should see a date indicator popping here so while scrolling it also scrolls the images but it also tell you which date that particular set of images were taken which month actually those images were taken so that's the indicator that we are building which while scrolling also tells you the month in which these images were taken month and year actually okay so now let's build the month indicator here so for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a rectangle so a small rectangle like this so i think this will be perfectly fine and what i'm going to do is it should be rounded rectangle so round it and same color as this indicator okay and i'm just gonna pull it out for now and fill it now and we need to add months here which will scroll when you which will change when you scroll actually these um, these images via this indicator so when you just move it up and down these set of images changes and the month in this pill will also change so let's do that let's build so it's very similar to building a counter with numbers but now instead of counters with number we are going to use words which is the month's name right and how to build a counter in detail i have explained it in my pre previous videos i'll link it on top so you'll see some cards on top and basically you can click on it and see how to create a counter properly but here i'm just gonna rush it through so this is the rectangle that we have now we need to add uh, months here so for that let's hit the text tool okay so we have added it here uh, i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller perfect uh, this is center aligned perfect 16 pop-ins medium now what we want is when we scroll up we should see the months changing so just the way counter works uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add all the months below each other so jan is here then i'll add Feb. so guys this is how it's gonna look like um you have all the months january february march till december i've added here and you have the background okay and now what i've done is i've just grouped them together rectangle and the back uh, and the months and i'm gonna call it uh, something like uh, date okay and i'm gonna change the property to frames i've actually already changed it from group you need to change it to frame so make sure that the group that contains the month as well as the rectangle is in the same group and you have changed the property to frame okay now coming to frame you have to enable clip content now what will happen after doing that you'll only see one month at a time the rest of the one that, that are overflowing the group will be hidden okay now the entire group select the entire group and you can also give it a shadow so i'll give it a drop shadow here so it looks like this so i've given a drop shadow to this as well as to this so that it feels like it's floating here right so it's on the top of all the images so now um, this is ready so this will become our counter so i'm just going to rename it to date counter and it's gonna look like this okay and I'm giving some space in between this and this because when you are touching with your fingers uh, you will cover more area so this will also get hidden so in that case you just need to put it a little bit far away from it so that even if your fingers come on top of it while uh, interacting it should not hide the date okay. so guys now we have all the elements ready for our interaction we have the images we have the scroll indicator we have the date counter now we need to create more frames and we'll then wire the prototypes up okay so uh, what i'll do is i'll first duplicate this first frame first artboard to second okay and what's going to happen is right now that once i uh, click on this image or once i touch on this indicator i should see this popping okay so i don't want to see it here i want to see it in this frame so what i'll do is um, i'll come here and select it and i'm gonna make it smaller so i'll hit the k tool on my um, keyboard and i'm gonna scale it to really really small okay 
okay something like this and I'm just make sure that it's always in the center and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it here okay and I'm just gonna give it a pass through of 0% so what will happen is uh, when it when I link this artboard to this artboard with auto animate it looks like that it's coming out of this uh, indicator and it's also expanding so it'll give us a nice effect just to make sure uh, this should be in the center yeah perfect so now uh, from here to here this is the interaction would be now what we want is when we scroll this up or when you scroll this down actually the images that are there in the background should move up okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna duplicate this artboard again and this will become our frame 3 and now what we want to do is we want to move the images to something so i'll just select the images and i'll just hit the arrow keys on my keyboard and we're going to move them okay and we're going to move them till here maybe and what i'm also going to do is i'm going to move these two as well in down because you're uh, making the scroll indicator move as well okay so we're moving it down and now what we want is so this was january let's say assume this was january um, what now what we want is we want that uh, this should the date should change to um, something like December maybe that's the last thing that we have so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select the entire thing and now since we had created it as a frame the entire thing is under a frame and you're not able to see the other things right which is outside so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select the dates the months actually and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it via my uh, up keep up key on the keyboard so I'm just gonna move it up everything up so that December is visible like this okay and now everything is up actually if you see everything has moved up and December is there so what will happen is from here till here when I scroll um, the images will scroll back but we'll also see uh, the month changing okay this will give us this nice effect that we want to build and from here what we want is when we stop finally this should basically both of them should disappear so they should just move out of the artboard okay so I just moved it out of the artboard so it will feel like that it has disappeared and yeah let's quickly now everything is set up let's quickly wire it up okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select the indicator here scroll indicator that we have built and I'm going to the prototyping tab and from here I'm gonna link it to here and this will be on tap navigate to perfect and instead of instant I want smart animate 300 millisecond is out perfect now from here what we want is now we come to the second artboard from here what we want we want to move to this screen but instead of on tap i want to do it on drag okay because you want to drag this entire slider entire indicator okay navigate to the next screen smart animate keys out 300 milliseconds this also looks perfectly fine and from here is when we'll just leave it so it should automatically move to the last frame so i'm just gonna add it and instead of on tap i want to do it after delay and not to 800 milliseconds we'll just do 200 milliseconds that it should go it and go out nicely maybe we can do 100 milliseconds okay smart animate is out 300 milliseconds perfect so the animation this moving out will take in 300 milliseconds okay. perfect uh, the one thing that we also want to do is come here and do show prototype setting and we need to enable an iphone uh, mod so that we see everything in an iPhone casing so that being said let's quickly see how our prototype is looking and I'll hit the play, play icon and perfect
so guys that's it that's how you create a simple yet fancy scroll indicator just using figma if you like this video do give it a thumbs up subscribe and share because that helps with the youtube algorithm and i'll be bringing up more such videos in future so do stay tuned if you do try out this particular prototype or any other ones from my channel tag me tag them to me in my social media accounts so the links will be down in the description and yeah that's it i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye